everyone welcome back to my channel this is Anna Chisong Wokolo and you're welcome to another episode of internal voice Anna bringing to you here in Senegal so today I have a wonderful title or topic to share with as many subscribers those who are already in the family and those who are yet to subscribe so you all are welcome thank you very much for coming for tuning in so before we start I will, st I will start first of all let us pray and so that God will use us wonderful today to share this word together We're going to talk about embracing our singleness. Yes, you should not be ashamed of being single. It should not be trouble for, for being single. It's a, it's a stage of your life that you must embrace. You must love. It's, it's necessary. Yes, it is necessary. And I'm going to explain to you why it is necessary. First of all, you understand that it is a season where you are responsible for yourself. It is a season where you are responsible for yourself. There is no much responsible. There is no much responsibility on your head. So meaning that you have to understand yourself. It's a moment of discovering. So in your singleness, you understand that you are single but not alone. Not being alone means that the Spirit of God is there, who is your life partner from beginning to the end, even though you get married tomorrow. So, it's a season where you are responsible for yourself. It's a season where you discover your type of person. It's a season that you can be in your room, look at yourself in the mirror and admire yourself and, and say, wow, I'm wonderfully made. Um, if you don't admire yourself, if you don't talk good of yourself, don't expect another person to talk, talk good of you. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I'm beautiful. Look at yourself and say, yes, I'm handsome. You understand? So it's a season where you discover yourself, you learn to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, you might not be you will not be able to love another. As the Bible have said it in the book of Matthew 22, verse 39, saying that you should love yourself. You should love yourself in everything that you are doing. You must love yourself. You have to understand who you are. You have to understand most first of all. So he said. You can love somebody in a relationship if you don't love yourself in your singleness. So it is important, you see, that you can love another person because it's someone else that will leave the parents to join to you. You understand? So he said that you cannot love somebody in a relationship if you don't love yourself in your singleness. So that stage of singleness, you must love it, you must embrace it. Because in your state of singleness, you have to say, you have to understand that you have to love God yourself and then another person who is your neighbor, another person who is going to be that husband or that wife. So you are not alone. A season of refreshing, a season of discovering, a, a, a season of repentance. Because even if you want to build a Christian home, you, have to, you should start learning, work on yourself, husband. Future husband, work on yourself. Men, women, work on yourself so that when you have another person joining to you, you are already standing on the rock. Then when it comes, you will not be shaken, but you will empower, you will sharpen each other. So you understand? So in your singleness, feel your emptiness when you are with God. There is this emptiness you are feeling that you say that I need someone in my life. I need someone to support me. I need so, 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 and that. Listen. Your emptiness must be filled in that time of singleness with God. It's a moment of you going to study. It's a moment of you studying your Bible. It's a moment that you get to understand people, understand that people are different. People can be like you. They are different. They are like them. And you are like you. You understand? So listen. And listen again. Your time with God 
before any other relationship. It's a time for you if you have not done it for years back. It is 2020. Listen, it's your time with God before any other relationship. For you to have good friendship with people, for you to do that and that. Make sure that your own relationship with God is being improved. Hallelujah. And again, your state of singleness is important to understand yourself without anybody's opinion. You understand? That stage of your life that you must embrace, that stage of your life that you must love, you see that it's a time for you to understand yourself without any man's opinion, people, because people have their own opinion. People must talk. So you understanding yourself, that low, that time that you think that you are lonely is a time that you must fill your emptiness with God. And again, they say, it is more important to be single than to, that it is to be married. If you take care of your moment of singleness, that time of your singleness, then it's much better than when you are married because you have get trust, you have got to yourself prepared, you have discovered yourself. Because if you have not discovered yourself and your wife or your husband have not discovered discovered yourself, then there is problem. You you will start doing it there in there while you are in marriage. You understand? All right, marriage is only as good as your singleness. So I'm still talking about. This single stage of our life is very, very important to be impressed. Discover who you are. So many of us, we don't have, we don't know who we are. What we think is that, okay, and we have not discovered our purpose in life. The reason why we are here, it is time for you to be working on yourself. You see, to know what you are getting into, you have to do what? Marriage is a, is only as good as your singleness. Because when you are working in what, that time that you are single, it will enable you to understand and get yourself prepared for anything that will come like challenges. Because marriage, marriage is between two imperfect people that agrees to do what? To join themselves together and build up as the same together, sharpen each other. You understand? And they say, and listen, this point is very important. They say, marriage doesn't improve your singleness, but it exposes you. Ha. Uh huh. My sister, my brother, if you have bad character, if there are things that you are not able to overcome now, listen, marriage is not there to build, marriage is not there to improve you, but rather it, it does what? Improves, it's not there to improve your singleness, but it exposes you. Whatever you can hide, you are not. Bet it's between you and somebody in the house. It's no more. It's between you and someone. So it exposes you. If you have bad character, that's the, the when the thing will come out. If there are things you have, you try to feel that blockage that you need to feel something. You need to feel something. You know, so it's not trying to improve. That marriage is not where you go and hide. It's not a hiding place. It's not a hiding place. So you have to prepare yourself because he said that marriage doesn't improve you, but rather. It doesn't improve your singleness. Yeah, some people say, let me get married married and catch up. Yes, let me for everything there. Mba. Start now. They say that marriage doesn't improve your singleness, but it exposes it. So work on your single time. It's not your single time now that you are single. It's not a time that you'll be killing yourself and thinking, oh, okay, when am I going to get married? Is it next morning? But start learning yourself now. Start working. Start improving your relationship with God because when you go inside there, if you have bad character, it will expose it more. If you have good one, it will expose it more. You understand? So it's not a hiding place. It's not where you, because I've seen many people People, many, many marriages have broken in history upon history and everything. And if you are hope tempered and everything, these are times that you need to work on yourself. Pray to God so that it will it the spirit of God will help you to, to put down that, that spirit. Because when you get into marriage, you can be able to control yourself. If there is there is a constant person, you are always before someone. And if you're hot tempered, as you see people beating their wife, breaking things, they don't control themselves, they don't have self-control. You understand? So it's not where you go and hide yourself, but rather it's a place that marriage is a place, it's, it's, it's a stage of life that exposes you. Everything about you comes alive. You understand? No, no more hiding place. All right. So be yourself. Be yourself. Don't use all the years you have now to be thinking, how am I going to, or how am I going to do this? How am I going to live in my house? How am I going to, how will my, my husband be? How in if? In another video, I'm going to speak to us again. Who and that person? Who am I going to choose? Who is that person? Who is that right person? What? 
quality that I think that I need in this person. Okay, because every one of the force we have to have this quality there are things that you are need you need in a person there are qualities and when you find it the four or five of it then you can you understand so qualities both are this and this and if you need this type of video comment on this comment section and tell me if there is yeah because i'm going to go in in everything concerning relationship so that we will be dressing things together but first of all you have to embrace your singleness let us embrace our singleness don't be ashamed don't be ashamed of anything when the time come when the right time come everything will be, will, will be possible and understand something again trust god trust god in guiding your future god is the one to guide your future so there is nothing that you will lose there is nothing you will lose at all you understand so god is there and he will empower you and he will strengthen you so rejoice you're single rejoice your marriage rejoice yes you understand the spirit of god is there to help you but first of all discover yourself as you embrace your singleness so thank you very much for watching this is to encourage as many of you and i pray that this will be useful to you if you love this type of uh, teaching and you want more bring uh, comment and tell me what you think about and how okay what are the struggle you're having in your marriage i mean sorry in your singleness now this stage you are now what and what you are finding difficult to accomplish as a christian what and what do, do, do you have as problem and everything that we will all talk about it and uh, if possible make other videos to back up the